Hi right, guys. Ma'am. It is a hot, sticky day here in Paradise. And I'm uh, here in Ithaca, New York. In downtown Ithaca, and this is a, a baby scoop of ice cream. This is not the small, this is the baby scoop of, um, what is this fine thing? Coffee, toffee ice cream. All right, we're having some coffee toffee ice cream on another day in the collapse of global industrial civilization. What are we up to? I think we're at Tuesday, uh, somewhere around August 6th or 7th, I don't know, somewhere around, isn't it, somewhere around Atom Bomb Day. Good Lord, the humidity is getting ready to hit 100%. Of course, I'm living back in my tent. I uh, hope the tarp doesn't blow off. Well, anyway, guys, I'm just sitting here eating my ice cream cone on another day, so... Uh, I am in the middle of my battle with the Texas Department of Public Safety over trying to get a uh, driver's license by mail. Good God. I haven't really been keeping you guys entertained. You know, so much of part of what I do, you know, chronicling the collapse of global industrial civilization is just, you know, chronicling just the fucking day-to-day -day existence in the year 2019 and this goddamn uh, whatever we have created as a species. You know, it's just, it's just unbelievable. Uh, 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 just the amount of this bullshit that every one of us on this planet have to eat trying to, you know, just dot the I's and cross the T's of just daily life. We're just trying to survive another fucking day in this bullshit. 20 till 2, so I have put another about three hours today into trying to uh, trying to renew a driver's license. Uh, from out of state. Good luck on that, people. Renewing a fucking driver's license from out of state. So I had to go get a... Uh, since I can't be in Austin to get my picture taken. So I had to go get my goddamn... Find a place to get passport photos and then the fucking passport photo machine wasn't working. I had to sit around while well, they found someone who knew how to, you know, get the goddamn pictures to come out of the machine. And then I, here I am making another 50 mile round trip into uh, Ithaca. I had to go to the uh, fucking social security office to get a replacement social security card to use as goddamn documentation to go along with my passport and my passport photos, all of this shit. Send all this stuff and a bunch of fucking money. You know, it just fucking goes on and on. Um, this is what I'm doing with my day. I think Basil's down here somewhere dealing with some fucking vehicle and trailer inspection, getting some goddamn 
a safety inspection on some goddamn trailer. You know? Uh, and we wonder why we're a fucking planet of clueless fucking morons. So we had this in our little Doomer meetup last night. Like five or six of us Doomers. Now my goddamn napkin is stuck to the fucking... I guess I'll just eat... It's just a paper napkin, right, guys? My, my fucking napkin is stuck to the goddamn sugar cone. Now I'll just eat the fucking napkin. You, you can't get a goddamn ice cream cone anymore without some fucking cheap-ass made-in-China napkin sticking to your goddamn uh, ice cream cone. Eat the fucking napkin, Hambone. You know? Ugh, fuck. There comes the rain. Imagine that. Another thunderstorm blowing into the Finger Lakes of New York while I'm living in a damn tent. Oh, God. You know, we were sitting around last night in this Doomer thing talking about whatever. You know, any one of us, you can go around the fucking table uh, with, any, with any collection of people. It doesn't have to be Doomers. Just to get the daily dose of fucking bullshit you had to go through today. And so, of course, mine was, uh, you know, dealing with this goddamn environmental health uh, over this fucking septic system. And, one, you know, one of those fuckers telling me I need to put in a 1,000-gallon concrete tank and four fucking leech lines so uh, I, I can take a goddamn shower from the gray water from my shower uh, when, when there's goddamn 100,000 fucking cows shitting all over the place. And, uh, so, I gotta say, everybody has these stories. Um, and what we were laughing about is just like, you know, when, when the when the rest of the planet wakes up to the fucking fact how fucked we are, you know, all of this shit with running around for your little trailer inspections and your septic perk test and your replacement social security cards and good God almighty, you know, all of this shit, just, you know, going along. Just fucking going along. I'm buying into this shit. I'm grabbing a goddamn ice cream cone every chance you fucking get. Uh, as, as, as this whole fucking house of cards comes down on us. You know, where, where the fuck do you think uh, even driver's licenses and, and, and goddamn. Uh, septic permits and shit like it ain't gonna mean shit. It's all going down the fucking tubes. The sooner it goes down the fucking tubes, the better. And all of these people, well, I just had to turn the goddamn radio off. They were playing. Uh, Tracy Chapman's latest CD. Do you know the name of? Tracy Chapman's latest CD is called Our Bright Future. Our Bright Future. And I never really thought of Tracy Chapman as being a totally clueless fucking moron, but obviously, uh, unless she was being ironic. No. Quite possible that she was being ironic. I haven't even opened up the goddamn uh, mainstream media news. It's goddamn two o'clock in the afternoon. I haven't even had a chance to look and peek into the fucking doomosphere. You don't need to anymore. 
and every goddamn one of us knows how fucked we are. Getting here running around, you know, like good little slaves. We're just being good little slaves in the fucking passport place to the social security office to the fucking driver's license bureau to the goddamn county courthouse no I gotta stop and grab a quick bite so what I did was I uh I went to the Social Security office, took my number, and then left and went to uh, have lunch. You know, while they're while they're working through the line, I was sitting there eating, and you know there was some fucking lawyer sitting at the table next to me on his goddamn cell phone. You know, it's grown fucking man. I was trying to, you know, you couldn't help but listen. And I was trying to figure out, so he was representing whatever side, you know, talking to the other lawyer about, I'm reading this affidavit here, and, what, and it was, I don't even know what it was about. I, I don't know. Uh, maybe someone scratched somebody's bumper or, or, or whatever. You know, I mean, this absolute horseshit that, that everyone in the restaurant got to uh got to listen to about some fucking drama that these people were having and they couldn't work it out between themselves and here comes the fucking lawyers here comes the fucking judge and jury you know talking about some fucking bullshit and 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 I have no doubt that both sides uh, had a right to be pissed off about whatever happened. Uh, whatever happened, it was probably a little bit of both of their faults, which is usually the case on anything like this, that everybody has some responsibility uh, in this shit. Nobody wants to take a fucking ounce of responsibility. So here they are, you know, with these, with these goddamn lawyers talking about fucking affidavits and, uh, and uh, you know, setting up fucking court dates and gathering evidence and good fucking God, shut up. And I'm thinking, I, I just wanted to go over, sit down at, at, at his goddamn table and, and, and said, brother, do you understand we're fucked? And, and that's your little fucking affidavit over whatever the fuck it was. Uh, l let me tell you uh, wh where your fucking affidavit is uh, when your goddamn next door neighbor ha ha has a goddamn shotgun crammed up your ass lo looking for a can of fucking beanie weenies and uh, you're talking about how you're going to get your fucking lawyer sounding like you know who down here in the doomosphere every time you get your fucking little pecker uh, shriveled up over something. And, you know, call a fucking lawyer. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm copying this to my lawyer. We're going to the only fucking lawsuits remain in the end times. We got eight fucking years as a species. I'm copying this to my fucking lawyer. E you know, good fucking God Almighty. One of these goddamn lawsuits fucking flying everywhere. All your fucking little permits fucking little licenses, your inspections, <sighs> fill out this fucking form, get this picture taken, and give us your goddamn documentation. It's all going out the fucking window. Every bit of this shit's going out of the fucking window. Sooner the better. Here we are, just going along like it's goddamn Penny Lane. Yeah. Fucking Penny Lane. I was, I was listening to that because I'm still trying. Uh, I'm 99% of the way through learning out this thing. This it looks like this little dick sticking out of my uh, 
uh, out of my dashboard that Osama put on my iTunes and I still cannot totally figure out the fucking shuffle on this but anyway <clears throat> let me let me tell you where the uh, the shuffle where the shuffle on my iTunes uh, that has uh, completely eaten my brain uh, yeah hey, I'm, uh, uh, let, let me tell you how fucking important the shuffle on your iTunes is, is going to be when there when there's no goddamn gas in your fucking gas tank. Let, 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 let's hear your little whine uh, about your shuffle on your fucking iTunes. You know, we're goddamn fucked, every one of us, and every one, and we all fucking deserve it. I mean, look at this shit up there. You guys can't see that. Now, of course, my battery's ready to run out. Oh, God. I gotta head back to my bag. I accidentally left this, uh, <clears throat> the, this bag full of rotten fucking chicken guts out on my buddy's lawn. Uh, <laughs> oh, God bag of rotten chicken guts and I gotta go clean up oh Jesus we're so fucked people anywho that was a fine ice cream cone napkin and all and all joking aside get out there and enjoy every goddamn palm oil soaked fucking ice cream cone you can get your goddamn mouth on you know this is this shit's all going bye bye the little shuffles on your iTunes your fucking little chocolate toffee coffee toffee ice cream cones it's all going bye bye all going fucking bye bye Uh, sooner the better and it's gonna fucking suck it's gonna fucking suck when the coffee toffee ice cream cones and the shuffle on your iTunes and you wake up one morning and you understand you will never have another coffee toffee ice cream cone what's that old Neil Young song Ain't it hard when you wake up in the morning and you find that those other days are gone? I think Neil was 24 years old when he wrote that song. Ain't it hard when you wake up in the morning and you find that those other days are gone? Oh, Jesus. But I'm sure I'm going to wake up tomorrow morning in a soggy fucking tent. And then I got to hit the road again on Thursday morning. And Lord, day after tomorrow, gee whiz, Hambone and Sancho Ponza back on the road again. Back on the road again. Into haunts a little bit unknown. So I try to figure out what the fuck I am going to do with my life to while away my life till this whole fucking house of cards comes crashing down around my iTunes shuffle. Get out there and shuffle your iTunes while well, you still can as the thunderstorms roll in. Bye guys.